Ooh, it's okay. Daniel here. And today we're going to be doing a base review for somebody that's requested it, named Mr. Bad Idea. We're going to be taking a look at this base, seeing what we can improve. But right now, just taking a quick look at this base, it does look like he has invested mostly into the snipers, and that probably because there's a Pangoli on base, that's good there. And we'll just take a look at his heroes. We'll take a look at Great Sage first. The level 20 skill, Pisces, that's looking good so far. And we'll take a look at his aid. He has Toxic Shaman, which is good. Probably the best aid for Great Sage, actually. Berserker, another great one. Enchantress, looking good so far. If possible, I would try to go ahead and get Enchantress's aid skill up. Just because a level 2 aid for 8,000 HP isn't going to do that much for you. Alright, we'll go ahead and take a look at Ambrosia now. Pisces as well, with a level 20 skill, also really good there. You have a Tron A, increase your attack, okay. Oh, what is that? You have a Pounder Aid on your Ambrosia? Pounder Aid does not help at all on defense. See what the third aid is. Third aid is a Pangoli, that's fine. Level 3, which is good baseline, I suppose. I mean, you do have a block hit, so I would definitely recommend changing up. Pounder for a blockhead. Uh, but before we do that, I want to see what other aids your other heroes have. Just so we can make the best possible situation out of all your aids. But right now we're going to go ahead and look at Abyss Demon. Pisces, level 20 skill. And Enlightened, so that's good. Pretty decently Enlightened, level 14. Just need a little bit more for Max Insight. And Max Insight Abyss is a really, really strong character. But let's go ahead and take a look at his aids. He has Skull Mage for extra attack. Not quite maxed out, but that's okay. I think your rings are better invested to other places other than maxing them out first. Right. But you have a blockhead, pretty standard, and then a pangoli. Go ahead and keep them alive. Might recommend putting more rings into that pangoli actually, because it'll take them a bit to actually get to the enemy heroes, even with the high insight. All right, now let's go ahead and go to the next hero, which looks to be pangoli. And now we're seeing our first non-Pisces hero, that Capricorn. Looks like you're still trying to work on him though, level 19 out of 20, Capricorn. You're probably just waiting on Evo Essences. I noticed that your team is built on Evo Essences, but that's okay. Let's just go ahead and check on his aids here. He has Savage Chief. Interesting choice. Let's see what the other aids are though. And now we have Arcane Caster. She can be used as an aid. I'd probably recommend skipping Arcane Caster and trying to go for... If you're trying to go for attack boost, go for a Saffrix, go for a Skull Mage, go for even a Blockhead, because that will increase... It, that will increase Pankoli's DPS still. Try to... Try to stay away from Arcane Caster. She's only going to get her benefit if there's more heroes on defense than offense. And we have a wolf here on the third aid slot. Wolf can definitely be good. I'm going to leave him in there and we'll see what other aid heroes you have. We'll see if we need to switch out wolf since it is only a level 2 aid skill. Alright, and we're on our last hero. We're on landslide. He is. There's one glory, but he is at Aquarius. Another Evo Essence hero. Level 20 skill. Looks to be two talents for dodge. That's really good there. Let's go ahead and check out his aid. He is running Arctic Lord. Let me tell you, Arctic Lord is one of the most misleading aids when referenced to a landslide. When you're talking about Arctic Lord, what he does is he reduces damage for a certain amount of time. The problem with using him on Landslide is because Landslide's fortitude actually makes him invincible for a certain amount of time. So trying to reduce damage on the invincibility kind of makes it a little bit pointless. We use much, much better on another hero. You could make so much more use out of the Arctic Lord on another hero rather than Landslide. Let's just go ahead and check out what Landslide's Fortitude is. So we'll go ahead and show us. Alright, and it shows after three enemy heroes are placed, teleports and deals damage. 
that much you obviously know. Go ahead and scroll down though, reduces the enemy speed for a certain amount of time, but then it has immune to attack for 10 seconds. That immune to attacks makes it invincible, so there's no point for putting an Octoclord. So we're definitely going to go ahead and switch him out. We'll have to check what the other two aids Landslide has in. But as we can see, yeah, two 5 out of 5 nimble moves, so that's really good there. Alright, let's go back to his aids here. We're going to Octoclord. We're going to go ahead and switch him out. I know that much. Let's see what aids he also has here. He has a Wonton, which is probably the best aid for Landslide. Because it increases the dodge rate, especially for a dodge build Landslide. They were definitely going to leave him on there. He only has a level 4 aid skill, but that's okay. We do have a Pangoli as well. Also really helps with Landslide. Because all the heroes are gathered at the Landslide. And once the invincibility pops off. If your Landslide isn't too good, it just gets killed super quick. So Pangoli is really good there. Level 3 aid skill, but that's good enough for now. Alright, so the hero aids we need to replace is definitely that Pounder on the Ambrosia. I think you might be using him just as a pure stat boost. If you can see level 146, highest level 8 out of all the other ones remaining. I think that's why you're using Pounder. But it would get a better result with the Blockhead. Because although you do get a 40% attack decrease, your attack rate increases by 25%. Because although you do lose 14% of the attack value of the Ambrosia, because say your Ambrosia base attack does 10,000 damage with that Pounder, that'll be 67% boost as the attack for the Hero 8 slot. So it would deal 16,700 damage. If you were to change that for the lower level Blockhead, it only does 53% attack. So it does 15,300, which is 1,400 less. Although Blockhead's aid skill effect buffs the attack rate, so it's more attacks per second. So you get more damage out of it. And with that Blockhead's aid effect, that goes up to 19,125. So in short, changing the Pounder to a lower level Blockhead, that will actually increase your attack DPS, which is damage per second, by 24%. That's quite a significant improvement. This is changing Pounder to a Blockhead. But I would definitely recommend doing that. So we're going to go ahead and just change that now. Alright, now let's go ahead and check on Octochlord's aid on, on Landslide. We'll see if we can change something there. You can see, would love to put Berserker, but he is only level 49. That's not really going to happen. Maybe, just because the Arctic Lord's effect doesn't provide any boosts. And Arctic Lord is 60%. Maybe we can put Pounder there. Just because it provides a higher stat boost. I think we're going to go ahead and go through and do that. So I guess to sum it all up. I went ahead and changed a few of your aids on your heroes. Switched out Pounder. Switched out a couple of other aids. You are working on your snipers. Go ahead and help out with your Pangoli Fortitude. So that's nice. And you are working, seems like you are working on Abyss to get him up to max insight. So I would definitely recommend keep going and keep doing that. That's gonna about sum it up. I hope you enjoy. Leave a comment down below if you want to see anything else in the future. And I will see you guys later.